Hello and welcome to the LEGO bootleg set of Chrome Stormtrooper. This is Pogo set PG801. I'm gonna compare them with the official Mag uh, uh, Chrome uh, Stormtrooper here. I had mine, uh, I got mine from the magnet set where it's like an anniversary magnet set. You just buy one magnet and we move the figure from the magnet. Uh, it wasn't glued down or anything, it was just attached uh, back when LEGO was cool enough for that. Uh, so he just came off the back. Uh, you can also get the Stormtrooper via a poly bag which is the more expensive option but it's literally the same figure. I think the one in the poly bag comes with like a piss, like a blaster or something which is not worth a lot. You just get that for like a few pennies. So again, um, package difference, price huge difference. No, no there's no point. Um, I, I added capes to this guy on my own. These, these capes do not actually come with the figure. Um, so I'm going to put him aside first and take a look at one of these. Now, I uh, notice with these is um, they come okay for the most part in the poly, uh, in the bag that they come in, a little plastic baggy, and you build them on the stand, yada yada. Uh, the problem with these is that uh, the paint job, due to the chroming effect and the, the way their paint is done, the paint on all of these can be scratched off by your fingernail. If you just go with your fingernail, the paint starts coming off. I don't know if you can notice in imaging, what we notice uh, bits of paint already coming off on some of these. So it's, it's that's definitely not good. Uh, the way they have chromed these, however, is quite decent. I'm just going to start comparing now. See, the way Lego chromes their figures is that they uh, have the arm attached like this. So when the coming effect is done and they move the arm out of the way, you can see there's a huge white area on the back right here that because the coming effect couldn't reach that uh, part of the figure. Uh, which uh, on these you can see that the chrome is all the way around. Uh, other areas that don't have chrome effects on the official Lego stuff is uh, the top of the legs. See it's white there, inside of the legs and of course the uh, inner side of each leg. If I was to get one of these troopers and do the same, move his leg up, uh, you can see that um, it's almost similar, but they have a little bit more chrome going on there, and there's white on top as well. So really, the only advantage is that they've added uh, a bit more chrome to the back of the torso, um, whereas the LEGO one has a bit of white going there. Uh, both official LEGO and this has the white areas there, uh, but the inside of the pogo is quite interesting. Look, it looks very different, the shape of the torso. I've not seen it uh, shaped like that before. And uh, that makes this uh, these figures feel very secure, very, very tight. Uh, previous Lego bootlegs, when they just haul out the entire torso, you can push this down and it feels a bit fragile and soft because there's nothing supporting the inside of it. But look at this, this is whole tube plastic. I'm pressing really hard and it's not breaking. Look. Look, my hands are shaking. It's not breaking, so uh, that's that's cool. Uh, that's great. The actual print details, uh, scratch on no scratch. Um, might as well just have a look. A generic Star Wars blaster that they come with. Um, the paint job, uh, print, the print job itself is. Uh, I'm gonna get one of these so I can compare them side to side because um, it's hard to compare them in the uh, viewfinder of the camera. Uh, the print detail is almost the same except for these scratch marks and um, the helmets on all these are all printed okay. I think it's a few of them are slightly off center but uh, they, they didn't cheap out and skip any print details but um, yeah they just slightly off center like the little black dots on the bottom of the stormtroopers gear there, the breathing gear I think is slightly off center but the main faces still look okay. Uh, this little black line on top there is a little bit smudged. And uh, they also didn't skip out on the back print. However, the back print is um, the lighter color that they print on there is far too white. You see on the official one, it's just a bit of a light gray, whereas here it's like a huge white line. And it's quite distracting, quite obvious, and also showcases the scratch marks a lot more. They actually skipped out on one detail. There's actually a thin line of the bottom white bar there that they didn't print a thin line. But there's no thin line on this. Just again scratch marks, which is quite annoying. Uh, did they print the bags? No. So basically, they copied the Chrome Stormtrooper as much as they can, but they used a slightly wrong color for the light marks, and um, they put all oh, they printed too much white on it, and the print job can get scratched very easily. So that, that's a bit of a bummer and uh, that makes me a little bit worried of all the other Chrome stuff. Um, but um, the, the C3PO droid, Chrome C3PO droid I had before that I reviewed 
uh, didn't feel like stuff was scratching off him. So I don't know what's up with these guys, but they, these scratch really easily. So do be careful when you get some of these and do expect scratches even when you get them out of a little baggie because they got pieces rolling around in them. The overall articulation also on these are a bit more tight because of the chrome effect. It makes the whole plastic thicker because there's a there's an entire layer of coat of paint on each piece. So that's to expect it, but not to the point where it gets frustrating. And if you're curious what's underneath the helmet, it's just a standard sort of black head. You. <laughs> Whereas on the original one, it was also just a black head. So no changes there. So if you want a bunch of Phasma granddaddies, <laughs> uh, then there you go. I get a bunch of these. They're pretty cheap. They they look great uh, from a distance because um, it's actually quite hard to notice the scratches when you have a chrome figure like this. Uh, it's only when cl on closer inspe uh, inspections do you see the scratch marks. So you can have a whole squad of these in the background or something to complement your actual Death Star set maybe or some other Stormtroopers. And as always these guys are also pretty cheap for what they are for chrome figures. So definitely have a look out for them. They've also released a chrome Darth Vader, which I will review and compare to the official Lego chrome Darth Vader. <laughs> yes, I have one of those. I teased it in one of my videos previously. I've not done a review on that yet. I was hoping to do a chrome Darth Vader review when I hit um, like another milestone in subscribers. So, so check that out when that comes along. So yeah, these guys are pretty cool, but um, just Beware of their flaws. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Because take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. And may the force be with you. Bye-bye.